Why Zeus get the fix? What's going on? Calm down, such a fuss. We're waiting for Batamix. I'm afraid he's late, as usual. He's here. Please forgive my tardiness, my friends. I left the ring on under a cauldron. How are you? Right the sunlight, but we'll be even righter when get the... Shh! Uh, I will come to the point. You all know of Caesar's plans to conquer the Gaulish village. <clears throat> uh, my village. Not news, huh? Well, I believe... He's a druid's whisker away from succeeding! By Zeus! By Belanus! By Odin! Bye-bye. Oh, what waffle you get a fix? Thanks to your potions and give super human strength to your warriors? Your village needn't fear the Romans. To overcome your village, Caesar would need to give his legions a power even more greater than yours. And I don't know of anybody who could harness such a great power. Except us, of course. Precisely. Bravo! Encore! It's a room, as we say in Rome. <laughs> Marvelous, dear fellow. A fine brace of druids. They are yours, noble Caesar. Make good use of them. Count on me, Getterfix. Take them away! What? Get a fix? A traitor? Who are you to talk about our druid like that? My name is Sam Schiffer, Gaul. And I should know a traitor when I see one. I'm a traitor myself. Traitor to Rome. I'll not betray treachery till treason has reason of Caesar. Pretty, but I didn't understand a word of what he said, Asterix. So you have the gall to come to our village? To slander our druid without evidence? And what's more, you even admit to being a traitor? Yes, well, I'm on your side now, Gaul. Let him finish his story, Asterix! It's true that Getafix has been a bit odd lately. You know, last week, he didn't even want to give me any magic potion. But he doesn't ever give you magic potion, Obelix. You fell in the cauldron when you was little, and that doesn't make our Getafix a traitor. You're not going to believe the first Roman that comes by. Why, Tutatis? He's gone! Just like the thief. I'm here, Gold. You wanted evidence? I've got evidence! Getafix is golden sickle! Why, Tutatis? If Getafix was here, I'm sure he could give us an explanation of this whole story. But Belenos alone knows where he is now. He's in Las Vegum. What's that, Las Vegum? Las Vegum, located in the heart of Rome, this city of luxury and pleasure is dedicated to the pursuit of sporting entertainment for the greater happiness of Romans everywhere. Las Vegum is round-the-clock gladiator combat to the gorious death. It's skimpily clad slaves fed to hungry lions seven days a week. But Las Vegum is above all a unique welcome and a festival atmosphere every day of the week in a fairy tale setting. Cross the romantic hills of Letitia as if you were really there. Laugh out loud with the joyful antics of Pirate Island and spend an unforgettable night in the pure opulence of Caesar's Palace. Las Vegum, the Roman holiday you'll never forget. Soon. A Jules Caesar production. A city for games? These Romans are crazy. Asterix, you and Obelix are going to Rome. It's the only way to discover why Getafix has betrayed us. To discover if he betrayed us by the statistics. Well, yes, that's what I was going to say. I'll come with you, Cole. Stay well away from us, Sam Schiffer. This whole thing stinks of a trap. But we have no choice. Right, oh, let's go, Obelix.
What should we do, Asterix? Should I knock? No, Obelix, you'll break it! Well, yes, of course. Psst! Calls! Look, Asterix, it's our friend the traitor. You can't get in through the main door, Goals. The park isn't open to the public yet. But I know a secret entrance. There! Behind that block. Over to you, Obelix. Hold this, please, traitor. <laughs> Let's go, Obelix! We wait for you, Sam Schiffer. Go on ahead, go on ahead. I'll catch you up.
Behind this door lies the heart of Las Vegas. But to enter, you will need to find a way to open this door, which is locked by an ultra-modern security system. You see the four torches. At the moment, they're all out. But as soon as they are lit, da -da -da, the door will open. It's a bit strange. It is said to be an infallible security system. Then how do we light these pesky torches? Reach each of the torches' twins in this room. Bash the torch a bit and presto, light will burst through the darkness. I'll open the first room and I'll wait for you there. this door. It won't open until you've eliminated the number of Romans that is indicated on it. Easy peasy, eh? To bash a Roman, press action. If you experiment a bit, you'll find plenty of different ways to batter a legionary. We'll see that later. Ah, where are the Romans? Behind you! Look out! <laughs> Romans here fly much better, don't you, Asterix? They must have a new aerodynamic armor to cut down on air resistance. Oh, it's kind of you to do that for us. One flame up, one! And a very nice little combat, too. Reminds me of my youth. Meet me in the second room to light the second torch. control either Asterix or Obelix at any moment by pressing the switch button. It is very useful to change character from time to time, as there are some things that Asterix can do but not Obelix, and vice versa. Sometimes you may have to use your noodle. For example, could Obelix pass through this little passage? Course not! But who is he talking to, Asterix? I don't know, Obelix. This character is worrying me more and more. <laughs> Funny, it 
it's the same colour as the bricks. evolved a bit. Asterix is still the only one that can climb on board, but to move it, Obelix now only has to stand on the spot marked on the floor to grab the rope. No need to hold the button down. up that wall that looks a bit fragile to me. But first of all, you'll need to clear the way by lowering this little rampart. Try pushing this little stone block. First, get close to it. There's no need to press a button. Everything takes care of itself. Ain't progress a fine thing. Is he taking us for fools, Asterix? Oh, I know how to push a little stone. I'm more worried about that button he keeps on talking about. Don't forget that the bomb gets primed if you hit it or touch a wall with it. Hey, careful over there! Careful with this bar. Why can't they make little pocket bombs, these Romans?
All the torches are alight! You're not heroes for nothing. Careful now. You're about to enter into the heart of Las Vegas. Proceed with caution. A little birdie told me that a Drew is being held prisoner in Little Venezia. It might be Getterfix, as I know he is very well guarded. Find a way into Little Venezia and liberate the Drewy. I'll be hanging around near if you need me. Find as many as you can, but not always easy to find. <laughs> 